the tissues of your skin being exposed to ultraviolet light it does increase the risk of cancer because there's damage occurring even with a tan. So having a burn or having a base tan doesn't protect you against those risks. This weekend is supposed to be a scorcher, so while you're out enjoying outdoor activities, make sure to protect your skin. Skin damage, including skin cancer, can be the result of forgetting to lather up in sunscreen. About 90% of skin cancers are caused from exposure to the sun, whether it's um, or artificial UV light. So that's really important. Um, it also contributes to premature aging of the skin. So it's really important we protect our skin to avoid higher risk of skin cancer in the future. So obviously use sunscreen. Um, the most important factors with that are use a product with a minimum SPS of SPF of 30. Um, also use a water resistant product. There's no waterproof product, so you always need to reapply after being in the water. Um, and I'll also reapply frequently. So every two hours is ideal and after being in the water. There actually isn't any confirmed evidence at this point that there is risk from these chemicals. So it's important to use a broad spectrum product, whether it's an organic product or a standard product, as long as it's broad spectrum, which means it will cover both the UVA and the UVB rays. It's very important and there is no risks that have been documented um, with research to support that there's an increased risk from those chemicals. Obviously the risk is certainly there from skin cancer so it's important to protect your skin. And another option to completely avoid a chemical sunscreen is to use something um, that's a mineral sunscreen, so something like this um, that is just straight titanium oxide or zinc oxide. Those are physical barriers instead of chemical barriers. Even if you aren't prone to burns, ultraviolet radiation can be just as damaging to your skin. For Castanet News, I'm Chantal Deacon in Vernon.